another colour just to vary it a bit. I'll, do it. I'll generally do it with the. Well, you can do it with any brush, really, it doesn't really make any difference. If it's a big tree, I'll just use the hike and just fry all those edges out. Um, just want to put another, say, little bush or something. Which could be down there. And then just really darken up that side of the uh, of the river. A few flicks of the fingernail. Just a few things growing on the far bank. Just makes it a little bit more interesting. Uh, now on this side, I'll put the, I'll put some reflections in first. I'm just going to clean the brush. I'm just using clear water and just wetting the river area. Just make sure it's nice and de wet, and then. Uh, let's say that that far tree there, just about to see reflection in the water. And then you can see the reflection of a few of these little bushes. So just pull them, pull them down slightly. And then you've got that, you got that big, that little tree as well to reflect. So I might just. Just see them there as well. That's it. You only need a few little sort of pieces. It just helps bring the water to life. That's, I think that needs to be a little bit darker actually. Just a little bit, just a touch darker. Try to reflect. In fact, I'll show you. If you do forget to do things, I'll just show you. So, see, now I forgot to maybe suggest just the odd reflection of these faint trees there and these ones there. But, doesn't have to be the end of the world as long as it's bone dry it has to be dry because otherwise you'll make a right mess of it once it's dry you can re-wet it again you can re-wet it as many times as you like really and then I can just add a few sections there put a few down there a bit, bit green I think Maybe stick in a few blue bits from the sky. A little bit of the sky here and there. And then all oh, that's still slightly damp. Get a darkish mix and then just make this, just darken up this part of the riverbed. And again, this far bank as well. 
just to separate it from the water. But always keeping the the lines parallel to the bottom of the paper, because it, it, otherwise it'll look as if it's it's sloping one way or the other, and it's it's not the desired effect. Just define this bit here as well. Have a few, just flick a few reeds and stuff growing on this side of the river. Let's make it a bit darker. Anyway, no. I'm trying to get it greener, so I'm going to clean the brush. It's getting a bit muddy then. Lemon yellow, pine's grey. Just flick up, and then a few. A few on this side. I think I'll uh, I'll call that one. To, well, I'll put a few little birds. I think back to the rigger. Very light colour. I've just got into a very watery greeny mix there. And then just generally looks better when they're going over trees or something like that. A few little birds flying around. And I'll call that one done. So I'll just go into a dark mix. Same with the rigger, and then just pop the signature down in the corner. Remember, not right in the corner, because otherwise it'll be hidden by the mount, and no one will see you painted your little masterpiece. So that's another one. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again soon.